Hello team and welcome to today's video where we're going to be taking a look at how to create a heat map in Excel using this example spreadsheet of average monthly temperatures in five Arizona cities. To get started with our heat map, I'll highlight all the values within our spreadsheet, head to conditional formatting, color scales, and from this menu you have a few different options that you can choose from, but we'll start off with the red, yellow, green color scale and click to input that in. Now higher temperatures are highlighted in red, while lower temperatures are highlighted in green. To understand creating heat maps in Excel in a bit more detail, let's look at this second Excel spreadsheet. Now within my data on the left-hand side, I have the first six months of average monthly rainfall for the same five Arizona cities, and on the right-hand side, we again have the average monthly temperatures. If I were to highlight all of this data, just as I did before, Go back to conditional formatting, color scales, and select the red, yellow, green color scale. You'll notice it's not giving us a helpful result. That's because all the values for the average monthly temperatures are much greater than the average values for rainfall. In order to correct this issue, what we can do is highlight each section separately to apply our heat map. I'll start again with the average monthly temperatures, so I'll highlight that area. Go back to conditional formatting, color scales, and select the red, yellow, green format. Now you can see Excel is able to provide much more meaningful insights based on the values that I highlighted. I can then highlight the values for average rainfall, go to conditional formatting, color scales, and this time we'll select something different with the blue, white, and red color scale. Now higher values of rainfall are highlighted in a darker blue with lower values highlighted in red. If you'd like to adjust your formatting rules manually for some additional options, you can select one of the cells located within your existing rule, head to conditional formatting, and select manage rules. Here I can see the graded color scale that I've selected for the average monthly rainfall. If you'd like, you can also use this drop-down menu to change your selection to the entire worksheet so you can see all the rules currently applied. In order to adjust the rule, you can click edit rule, or double click the rule you want to adjust. Underneath the format style dropdown, you can choose a different style of formatting, such as a two color scale, data bars, or icon sets, but I'll leave it as the three color scale for now. We can also change the colors that appear based on the values within our data. So for example, for the lowest values, I'd actually like to change this to a lighter blue. The midpoint can be a medium blue, somewhere in between the two values of maximum and minimum. Then I can click OK and then apply. Now when I close out of that dialog box, I'm still able to see visually which months had greater rainfall as they appear in darker blue and months with lower rainfall appear in lighter blue. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.